And welcome back, Yukonuba's pet nutrition advisor, Peter Schiesel and Buster, to look at some of the dangers to our dogs over the Christmas season with all those Christmas treats. Welcome. Thank you. I love having Buster on the show because he always does something. He always yep. decides it's his time to shine. He, and he sure doesn't does. do what we expect him to do. <laughs> so, Buster, nice to have you back in here. He says, yeah, whatever, just give me the like, treats. Give me the food. And you can just look at my butt. <laughs> that's the end I'm going to be giving you. Uh, now, firstly, how was Buster doing? Because he's had a bit of a rough time, hasn't Good. he? He's had spinal surgery for a prolapsed disc in his neck. So Ooh. he's done really well with hydrotherapy and, and physio to get him back on, on the straight and narrow. Gosh, poor Buster. He's, yeah. He looks hasn't stopped him being naughty, though, has No, it? good boy, Buster. Always <laughs> push the boundaries. And as we are approaching the Christmas season, we obviously indulge a lot personally ourselves, but there are some human treats that are actually dangerous for our dogs, aren't there? That's absolutely right. Um, first off, chocolate is everywhere this time mm. of year, and unfortunately it's incredibly toxic to our dogs. So the darker the chocolate, the more <laughs> dangerous it is. Mm. It's a theobromine in the chocolate that um, is really, really toxic. And um, unfortunately, symptoms come on very quickly within a few hours. Yeah. Right, okay, so don't give them chocolate. Which no I've, always, chocolate. I've always thought is, is interesting when you see treats for dogs that are like choco drops. It's like, well, what yeah, you know, they'll them be chocolate. made out of carob rather something, than something actually yeah. different. So, what are some of the symptoms you should look out for if your dog has like down the <laughs> bar of dark chocolate? Oh dear. Um, so, nausea and vomiting, mm. diarrhea, um, and really bad cases, seizures and dare I say it, death in really severe cases. Okay. But basically any kind of sign that your dog is acting unusual. Yeah, some dogs will go and do. hide. Some are, yeah. And what should you do if you realise that your dog has eaten some chocolate? So if they have actually gotten some delicious chocolate, and it will depend on the amount of course, um, call your vet immediately. Mm -hmm. That's The sooner you can get it treated, the better. And um, and depending how much they've ingested and how long it's been will depend on how your vet will treat that. Because how big they are and what sort of thing, all factors in as well. That's exactly it. So is there any other food that we shouldn't be giving our dogs at Christmas? <laughs> well, obviously, the Christmas ham comes out at Christmas. So good, it's my favourite <laughs> bit, I love it. I know. Um, unfortunately, as you may think you're being kind by giving them some ham, it's actually really tough on them. It's really rich and it's really salty and it can be quite detrimental. So upset stomachs and even pancreatitis. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's quite a major for these guys. Um, back in clinic, we would often see um, more pancreatitis cases around Christmas and it could be that they've stolen some ham off the table yeah. or out of the bin or that an owner's decided that they thought they'd be nice and, and given them mm. some ham and it hasn't and gone well. dogs are great at getting food from where they shouldn't be getting food. Or if there's kids wandering so. around their piece of ham and the dog just sort of decides to come and take it. There's lots of ways that they get what they shouldn't do. That's so right. those, obviously, ham, chocolate, the no-nos. Mm -hmm. But what can we do if we want to give our dogs a little Christmas treat? Yeah, of course. Well, it's often really warm in, in mm. New Zealand at Christmas time, so we can do things like... Um, play some sort of kibble games, so maybe freeze some kibble and some ice blocks for them to play with and to, you know, cool them down on those hot days. Um, hide some kibble, there's like snuffle mats and things that you can do. Just um, any games to make it fun and distract them from uh, the Christmas meal that we're enjoying. Absolutely, because I don't want them <laughs> licking my ham. And do you have any other tips as we go into summer? Well, I guess the big thing is to remember that the heat is really hard on mm. our dogs this time of year. So making sure we're um, exercising them first thing in the morning and last thing at night to stay out of that midday sun. Heat strokes are real danger for these guys. Yeah. But of course you want to get out there and have fun, so just make sure you're having a good time but sensibly. And make sure you always keep them water, because I notice my dog, she goes through the water. Absolutely, yeah. And if they do have any signs of heat stroke and things, make sure you cool them down slowly yeah. and possibly call your vet if it's a... A severe What happens if you're, if you're in the car? What Any tips for keep, if they're in the car out with you? Well, to be honest, if you're going to be st like running errands and things, mm. you're probably better to leave them at home. They, mm. The car gets, ho gets hot so fast, and even leaving your window down a bit is not going to help them that yeah. much. And I know that I can't take my dog anywhere in the car and leave her for even a second because she does that huge, like, that oh, no. really loud <laughs> thing. It's like, I'm a bad dog owner. It's like, I'm literally yeah. going for 20 <laughs> seconds. Hey, Peter, thank you so much. Always Welcome. great having you in the studio. And well done, Buster. Good boy. Uh, and you can Uber are giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of you can Uber dry food. To download the voucher, go to youcanuber.co.nz forward slash the cafe.